Shaykh al Islam Taymiyyah is saying the reason why they haven't understood the Salaf and they lied about the Salaf and they couldn't really correct the path of the uh, Khalaf, the reason to this is because they say, the characteristics of Allah, the, the, the verses that we're read, reading, we're reading Allah's names mentioned, or a verse mentions the characteristics. They say, this is only showing a that, but it's not showing a sifa. Showing an essence, but not a characteristics. And every sifa we believe, there's a that and there's a sifa in it. صح? They say we affirm the fact that there's a that, one that exists. But we're not going to affirm the sifa in it, the characteristics that is in it. And we all together. So for example, we're going to affirm that Allah is Al-Hay, one who is alive, because that's that. That's the essence of Allah Taala. But we're not going to affirm certain other characteristics like Allah has a hand. No. Or we're not going to affirm that Allah Taala comes down, comes down the last turn of the night. We're not going to affirm that Allah Taala is above His throne. They negate the sifa, but they don't negate the that. Because if they negate the that, then Allah doesn't exist to them. We're all together. So Allah does have to, Allah needs to exist, but with no characteristics. Well, he can ponder here, brothers. This new way of affirming Allah's existence only proves a that, it doesn't prove a sifa. Are we all together, brothers? Yani we're seeing some of these arguments that are used, these philosophical arguments, debating with Christians, atheists, saying I'm going to prove God's existence. Like the most common one used right now, the contingency argument. What does it prove, if anything else? A necessary existence. This, صح? That which they call a wajib. Al-wujud. That wajib al-wujud that they affirm, when they have to leap, so they, all they can prove is a wajib al-wujud. A necessary being. I don't want to go through the tafasil, but they come to the conclusion there's a necessary being. They cannot leap from a necessary being to what? To Ibn Allah. Because the necessary being that they affirmed has only a that and it has no sifa. And if they try to prove that this necessary being has characteristics, it disproves the argument of a necessary being. You understand my point? I don't want to bring shubhas to you guys. And the shubha confuses me because Tidmuriya is, uh, so Hamawi is not for those. T- t- Ibn Sina, Ibn Sina is who? He's a disbeliever. He's not a Muslim. Ibn Sina said, I'm going to prove God's existence after he read Aristotle and Plato and Socrates and Falasifatul Yunan. He said, I'm going to try to prove Allah's existence. He said, everything in this earth that we see today, they're the, they're the following. Either there is wajibul wujud, a necessary being, but before we get to necessary being, there is a mumkinul wujud, a possible being. Before we even prove that, we have to prove that there is a what? There are impossible beings. They cannot exist. There are things that can't exist. Like a triangle squared object. And Anakirvan, two opposites. That's an impossible. Okay. The person will say, okay. So logically, I'm going to prove something to you. Okay. And there are possible beings that could exist and may not exist. Like you and me. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That possible being needs and requires a what? A necessary being. Until this point, no atheist is disagrees. Even the atheist believes that there is a necessary being. I don't know why some people believe that an atheist cannot believe a necessary being. It's tanaqub. And Shaykh Ulusam Taymi, look at these, Sharh al-Asfahaniyah. Ibn Taymi says, even the atheists believe a necessary being. 
The Dahriyun, they believe the necessary being is the Dahar, nature. We're all together. So how do they then distinguish between the impossible being, sorry, the possible being and the necessary being, these two? How are they, how they going to distinguish one from the other? Okay. Huh? Huh. They say that the characteristics, you rely on your characteristics. You depend on your characteristics. And Allah wa Ta'ala is what? He's not dependent on anything. So, so then Allah doesn't have characteristics. You just prove the distinguishing factor between a mumkin wujud and a wajib wujud is dependence, which is what they call iftiqar. Are we all together? So when you say there's a necessary being, and the person says, you know what, your argument seems good. Okay, I like that. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Then if he flips it on you and says, hold on, your Lord has characteristics. You just said characteristics are a, 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 things which you depend on. Your Lord is saying, I come down last end of the night, I have a hand. Over. How does that work? So this is where the Mubtadi'ah said, no, 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 no. Let's negate all the characteristics. <coughs> that wasn't the initial discussion at the beginning. Are we all together? That's when they said we're going to negate all the characteristics of Allah wa ta'ala. Between themselves, they divided. Some of them said when jumla wa tafsila, no characteristics at all, like the Jahmiya. Then the Mu'tazila came and said, no, we affirm the names, but not the characteristics. And then the Sha'ira said, no, we affirm the names for sure. And these seven or, or odd num seven characteristics we affirm them. Are we all together? And even the sifat that they affirm the asha'ira, what's it called? Sifat Atiyah. So they only have proven the that. They don't want to, the sifa is not there for them. Am I making sense? I'm just talking to myself. So the necessary being is not going to ever be Allah to them. And imagine you affirm a necessary being. Reality, the atheist looks at you and says, yeah, I agree with you on that. And you're like, you're not an atheist. And he's like, no, I am an atheist. But you just accepted the necessary being. He's like, yeah, I did. Just prove to me that the necessary being is Allah. You can never do that. You can never do that. Why? That necessary being has no characteristics. Are we all together? So that's what Shaykh al Islam Taybiyah calls it. It's just a wujud mutlaq. It's an unrestricted existing thing that is stripped from all of that. Ala kullin, there's nothing better than tariqan to as salah. Ibn Sina, wa manna hanna hawahum, and those who traded on his path, what they come with is what? Kuzabalat. 